The hair is a bit dramatic. It's a bit dramatic to put these side by side to be like, wow, you can tell some time has passed. I get really sentimental with like time passing, like time marks of like a month, six months, a year. And especially with this video and just this time in my life, I didn't know where I would be a year later. Uh, a year kind of scared me a bit. So to be where I am and to look back at that time, it means a lot. And it brings on a lot, a lot of emotions. And today we're just going to talk about all of that. What the past year has been, where I am, how I'm feeling. We're just gonna catch up and I'm gonna tell you how my heart is doing a year later. While I do my makeup because for some reason it's just easier for me to get thoughts out when I'm multitasking. A lot has changed in a year, but this, this has not changed. <laughs> okay. Where did I want to begin? I felt so much anxiety before I posted that video, so much. But as soon as I posted it and I was able to just connect with you guys, with you guys and talk to you and relate to you and hear your stories and like where you are now brought me so much peace with where I was at. And it was like, okay, now I heal. Now I focus on myself. Now this new this journey like begins for me and i only wanted to resonate with people that were also going through breakups and loss but people that were scared of that loss or scared of that potential breakup because if i'm being honest i would look up videos like this pre-breakup to almost like reassure myself that i could do it because i felt like that was coming, but I was so scared of it that I almost was trying to like watch these videos and convince myself like if they did it, I could do it. I wanted to find like a piece of myself and my journey in theirs to convince myself to almost have proof that I would be okay. And I just know that feeling. I know that feeling all too well. So I'm here to tell those people, the people that were here for me a year ago, the people that have found this video throughout the past months and resonate with my story, that I did it. The girl that was scared to be alone, the girl that was scared to see where she was gonna end up, the girl that was hurting, she did it. She figured it out. She found herself. It's funny now to look back at myself and be like, God damn girl, you are so dramatic. <laughs> Hindsight's always 2020, and you're always looking back and being like, girl, calm down. But that's the thing about looking back at things. It's like, you can't, you, ha you still have to give yourself grace, you know? You still have to give yourself grace. And it's funny because although I was going through all those really tough emotions, I had this overwhelming feeling that I was gonna be good. Even though I didn't know what that was gonna be, I didn't know what it was gonna look like, I just trusted, and I just took it day by day. And honestly, I've been taking it day by day ever since and the best thing to do. <laughs> I'm so grateful that I share this journey because I have been able to talk to so many of you that are going through breakups and tell you what has been helping me. And one of the biggest questions that I get is when do you get over it? When do you heal? When does it stop hurting? And those are all questions that I asked myself too. I wanted to know exactly when I was going to be okay. I have an answer for you. I do. The answer is that I don't know, and you don't know, and we don't need to know. You don't need to know when you're going to stop hurting. You don't need to know when you're going to figure it out. What's important right now is that you focus on yourself and you give yourself love and grace and kindness every single day. You focus on you and how you're feeling and what makes you feel good. And healing yourself honestly looks different to everyone in all different ways. There is a healing to your, healing yourself that looks like journaling and like doing all the like wellness things, but there's also healing that is being bad. <laughs> I think that being bad also heals you. You give yourself that freedom to let go. It's a balance of both that I have found because I think for a while I was trying so hard to get past this that I was just trying to be so good and trying to heal so well and I burnt myself out by doing that. I really did. I, I, it wasn't fun at a point because I was then tired of trying to heal. I was tired of hurting before and now I was tired of trying to heal and trying to be better. So I had to let go of that too. 
I had to let go of that pressure on myself. I do know that there is a day that you wake up and you are over a person, you are over a relationship, you are over a time in your life, and it comes randomly. It really does. It comes unexpectedly. And that's just gonna happen. That's all I can tell you. It happens. It happens to everyone. It's a part of the process. And that's something that I had to keep reminding myself through every day when I would feel all the stages of grief, of denial, anger, acceptance. I honestly didn't even feel them all in a row. I felt them all randomly at different times. Like one day I would feel acceptance and then one day I would feel deep, deep anger. And another day I would be crying all the time. It was just, it came so randomly out of nowhere. And I just reminded myself that I'm healing, that these are the stages that I have to go through. If I wanna get through this, I have to go through this. It's something that I have taken with myself through honestly anything in my life is like I'm um, just just feel the emotions that come with it the emotions pass the time will pass I just need to go through it to get through it you know through all those emotions you learn so much about yourself you also learn that the one person that's always there for you is yourself I I have truly found my home within myself I have truly found a support system within myself. I have truly found a best friend within myself. The past year has created such a deep bond within me, with myself. It's something that I honestly, I, I, I feel like I experienced pre-breakup, but in such like small little quantities. And now I have just been able to like fully nurture that relation that relationship and bond with myself because when you when, when you're with someone so young at such a young age too for a long time you just get so used to always having someone i felt independent in a way i thought but when you're truly alone at the end of the day you you have people to turn to like family and friends but it's just different i remember how tough nighttime was being alone i remember how tough just my everyday routine was of feeling like that true loneliness it's crazy to look back on now because now i love my alone time i need my i crave my alone time through all of those lonely nights and lonely moments i found comfort within myself and i found peace within myself it makes me sad to say this but it's crazy how when you're in something that that it's all you've ever known how normal things can seem i just didn't realize how much i was dimming my light how much i was trying to fit myself into a box and be smaller i didn't realize how really sad and anxious that made me i just thought that i was a really anxious person but i'm not I have anxiety like other people, but not like I used to. It, I could not control it at a certain point. It became so overwhelming that I didn't know. I, I felt like I had lost control over everything. Your body knows. Your body knows before it clicks in your head. Now I, I pay attention to my intuition so clearly. I'm like, what? What's going on here? Let's get to the bottom of it. I just, I listen to myself so much more and I, and I follow that feeling so much more. I need a sip of this. This has been sitting here taunting me this whole time and I haven't taken a sip. I need matcha. My back is hurting a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. I turned 25 in a month. <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm so excited for this birthday. I really am. I'm also excited because last, last year's birthday, I was really nervous for. Um, yeah, I cried on my birthday. The, my birthday I felt true loneliness I did even though I had I had all my like favorite people around me and I I honestly had such a great week like I said I was just going through the motions and on my birthday I felt that loneliness I felt it hit it's crazy what a year can do and I'm just I'm really excited for this one I'm excited for 25 this is kind of something that I wanted to like bring up to you guys but I look back at old videos of myself and I'm like who is that who is she? And I feel like everyone kind of does that. You know, you change so much in that time, but I'm really like, girl, who 
is that girl? Who is she? I, I feel like, and I've been saying this so much, but I feel like a completely different person, but I also have never felt more like myself. It's something that I've been saying for a while. I feel completely different, but I've never felt more me. And I'm still figuring out who I am every day. And I think that's just what you do when you're in your 20s. You're like, who am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? I'm still going through all of those emotions. I just, I, I'm trying new things all the time. I'm, I'm trying to like broaden my horizons in different ways. Um, I feel so much more freedom to do those things because I think that's just like part of my personality is I, I want to be doing new things. I want to be trying new things. And now I just feel like I'm really, really able to do that. And I feel like through that, I'm just truly embracing like who I am. Hey, now we have an audience. I'm being patient with myself. I'm trying to be kind to myself. Because honestly, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just out here on this earth being a little dumbass. My friend Alexa was saying this, but like, you know, I'm just out here being a little piece of shit and like figuring out life and having a great time while doing it. And that's what I've been living by. <laughs> I spaced you out a little bit because I felt like we were just like a little, were we a little bit too close? I don't know. Maybe a little bit closer. I don't want to be too far from you. Don't take this the wrong way. Don't take this the wrong way. But everyone's journeys are different on this earth. But for me personally, I am so grateful that I have had this time alone and truly being alone because with everything that I've been through, gone through, whatever, through my own experience and journey, I needed this. I needed this. I needed this time to figure out me, to find me, to create this bond with myself, to truly know what I want, what I don't want. And don't get me wrong. Being in love is a beautiful thing. I am so excited for that phase of my life. D guys, I am so excited to be in love. I truly am. I just know that that time is gonna come and it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And until then, I'm just doing my own thing. Until then, I am just living my life and I'm focusing on me and, what, and, and growing myself. Being in love is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Both are beautiful, beautiful things. Being in love, being alone it's all different journeys of life guys this is a beautiful journey if you are also single what a beautiful journey we are on you can give yourself anything you want you are building a bond within you one day you know that you're going to be in love it could happen tomorrow it could happen next week where you find that person you don't know life is constantly changing and evolving and surprising you to look back at this time and be like wow i'm so happy i gave myself that time truly being alone why was i stressing over this random guy or stressing over here or stressing about being in a relationship when i wish i just like enjoyed it i want to be able to look back and be like wow i fully like embraced that time in my life so that's what i'm doing <laughs> Oh, I went on like a break from going on dates for like four months. I actually went on my uh, first date in four months, like last week or two weeks ago. And I just realized why it took me so long to go on a date. The longer you're alone, the longer you don't go out with guys, the harder it is to go out with guys. Once you figure out how good being alone and having this independence and freedom is, it's honestly harder to let someone in. Your standards become so high. If I can like go out on the weekend with my best friends or like have a really peaceful weekend by myself, what, like who am I gonna let into that? Who am I gonna let interfere with that? And those people are out there, those people are out there, but it's, it's good, it raises your standards honestly. But I was like, why do I not want to go out with any of these guys? Like these guys that honestly, I would have been like, hell yeah, a few months ago. Let's go out. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Now I'm like, oh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather go hang out with my friends. I thought for a minute, like, am I just turning cold? Like, am I just putting up my walls like way too high? And like, no, it's not because I welcome that into my life. I feel very happy to be at a point where I am good with either. I'm good with either. I know both are very beautiful things in their own ways. 
we have been talking for a long time. The way I'm still not done with my makeup, like I've just been, I've just been talking your guys' ears off. I'm so sorry, but we have a lot to talk about. This video is quite overdue and I was a little nervous to film it because I'm like, I don't want people to think this is something that I'm just dragging out. Like, oh, she's still talking about her breakup. Like, get over it, get over it. And it's not that. I am doing this video because I brought you guys along on this journey and I still get questions all the time on how I'm doing and where I'm at because it's something that I was talking about so much for a while and, and now it just seems like I'm just living my life. And yes, it's so far in the past that it does feel weird to like make a video on it and be like my breakup because it feels so far away from me. But that is my journey. That is my story. It's something that I brought you guys along on and I want to conclude this story. When I posted that video, I said you guys brought me a lot of peace in my decision and it felt really, it felt like a chapter in my life closed. It felt like for the past year, like I said, I was healing, I was figuring out myself, I was focusing on myself, I've been trying to figure out me. It feels like with this video, in a, in a weird way, it feels like my life is just beginning. It feels like the story of just me is beginning. So dramatic, I know. It's so dramatic. I, I've learned that about myself. I'm just a dramatic ass bitch. But it really truly does feel like that. I feel like the story of just me and my life is, is just beginning with this bond I have within myself, with everything that I've learned and, and I'm still learning and I'm still figuring it out. I'm, I, you know, it never ends. You, know, you never finish changing and evolving and learning and growing, but it just feels different. This video really does feel like an end of a chapter of being like, okay guys, I did it. I did it and we're here. Um, so dramatic, I know. <laughs> After like two hours of talking and doing makeup, I think we're finally done. A little lip gloss. Okay. Okay. I just want to thank you guys. Um, I feel so much gratitude for you every day, all the time, and especially since I posted that video. For anyone that's going through a similar journey or feeling the things that I was feeling, I'm honestly so excited for you to get to this point because I know that you will. You will also find a home within yourself and find peace within yourself. I know it. And you're going to be okay. You're going to be better than okay. <laughs> Thank you.